a very good morning everyone a very good morning respected director sir faculty members dear students and audience i dr sant kumar verma associate professor isf college of pharmacy moga would like to welcome dr sanjay kumar jsps researcher institute of multidisciplinary research for advanced material im ram tohoku university sendai japan at the online platform of isf college of pharmacy moga for delivering talk on endophytic fungus lesio diplodia pseudothiobromy source of xanthine oxidase inhibitor i request to respected director sir please welcome our today's inspector speaker dr sanjay kumar over to director sir thank you very much dr sant kumar verma ji so first of all i welcome today's guest speaker dr sanjay kumar ji Uh, from core of my heart at isf college of pharmacy dr sanjay ji we have started this is the isf dialogue series purpose behind of this dialogue series to provide the some of the national as well as international collaboration and what types of the research is going on as the including the abroad so that student they come to know that what is going on so the purpose behind of this one ki we can uh, take some of the youngsters and scientists those are directly involved in the laboratory and dedicatedly working in their work in the laboratory so i hope that uh, today's purpose you are one of the young dynamic scientist so i feel that you can give some lot of information to our young budding pharmacist researcher and your opinion your view your expertise it will be the helpful to the uh, researcher so thank you very much isf dialogue series once again i welcome from core of my heart uh, dr sanjay kumar ji and whole team so thank you very much over to dr sant ji thanks respected directors for enlighten about the our dialogue dialogue series now i would like to invite dr sanjay kumar for his talk welcome dr sanjay kumar uh, thank you very much first of all i thank to iso college of pharmacy for the kind of platform and inviting me for uh, on the talk on my research and thank you very much the director of the iso college of pharmacy dr gd gupta sir and uh, my friend uh, and my colleague uh, uh, dr sant kumar verma thank you very much i am going to start uh, uh, talk on my uh, just wait i am going to uh, share my screen Uh, some uh, active metabolites from the endophytic fungi for the xanthine oxidase inhibitor before coming to the main stream i would like to the uh, introduce the what is the xanthine oxidase inhibitor it is the enzyme which can hydrolyze the uh, hypoxanthine to xanthine and the xanthine to the uric acid uh, uric acid is the responsible for the various kind of that disease one of the most uh, famous disease the hypoglycemia Hyperglycemia generally called as the disease of the uh, uh, 
uh, king that is the it, it is the lifestyle disease previously known but this time the uh, it is the normalized uh, poor people also were uh, uh, also the uh, going to the uh, this type of the suffering with the, this type of the disease uh, here in the genthin oxidase hypogenthin converted to the genthin by uh, enzyme the genthin oxidase and the genthin converted to the uric acid two of the uh, two enzyme mainly responsible for the conversion of the hypogenthin to the uric acid this is the genthin oxidase and the genthin dehydrogenase uh, 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 this is the, the both of the enzyme in present in the human body and the genthin dehydrogenase converting the reversible converting the genthin oxidase uh, in inside our uh, our body uh, uh, one uh, we can treat by the you um, um, inhibit that the genthin oxidase inhibitor in using this the uh, this kind of the inhibitors first one is the urine based genthin oxidase inhibitors allopurinol uh, used as the genthin oxidase inhibitor since 1966 uh, but uh, having the problem with uh, purine based inhibitors it is converted in the nucleotide analogs uh, which which can the interfere with the normal uh, purine metabolism and the pyrimidine synthesis it causes life threatening adverse effect like the uh, fulminate hepatitis severe johnson syndrome and the chronic renal failure so researcher thought that the uh, uh, research on the non purine based genthin oxidase inhibitor and uh, out of this uh, non purine genthin oxidase inhibitor floxic state was the uh, approved by the us fda in 2009 and the uh, uh, Topiroxol state was approved by Japan Pharmaceutical Medical Device Agency in 2013. But uh, both of the drug having the, some problem, uh, for, uh, some cardiac patient uh, having the problem with the uh, Fox state, and the uh, arthritis patient also having the problem with the uh, uh, top, Topiroxol state. Uh, because of this problem, the researchers are the uh, research on the natural genthin oxidase inhibitors. One of the uh, natural genthin oxidase inhibitors are the, is the quercetin. Uh, before coming to the main stream, uh, we are going to the interview uh, what is the fungal natural product in the drug discovery. Uh, uh, since the discovery of the penicillin in, in the penicillin in the 1920, 1928, the researcher are focused on the uh, fungus uh, metabolites the, uh, in the field of the drug discovery. After 10 years, the cyclosporin was uh, isolated from the cyclosporium uh, acromonium. It was the first beta lactam antibiotics, mainly uh, active against gram positive bacteria. Gurusia fulvin was the first antifungal natural product which was isolated from the filamentous fungi penicillin Gurusia fulvum in 1952. The fusitic acid also uh, was isolated from the fermentation of the fusidium osseum in 1962. Uh, apart from the antibiotic, some uh, uh, statins uh, um, drug also the isolated from the fungus. Uh, fungus. And, uh, out of this, the meva statin uh, isolated from the penicillin. Uh, citrinium and the lower statin was isolated from the uh, monoscus rubber and the uh, aspergillus terrus. Now coming on the endophytic fungi. Endophyte means the it is derived from the Greek word that is the indon that means the within and the phyto is the plant. That means the microorganism uh, live inside the uh, plant for the habitat and the protection without the any harmful effect on the plant. Uh, is, uh, some literature on the published on the endophyte, uh, endophytic microorganism uh, give that that, that the uh, tolerance increase the tolerance of the uh, stress on the plant. Uh, mainly endoph endophytic microorganism mainly are the bacteria and the fungi, but uh, some uh, algae mosses fern also has been the reported. Various classes of the chemical constituent uh, 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 are isolated from the endophytic fungi like uh, uh, alkaloid, steroid, terpenoid, xanthons, 
uh, quinoline phenyl, phenyl lignin lactone and the, these uh, these metabolites are the reported for the various biological activity like antifungal antibacterial anti cancer anti tubercular antiviral etc out of this we 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 have adding the some example of the antibacterial metabolites from the endophytic fungi like uh, serotonin A, which was isolated from the Aspergillus species, it, it shows a very good antibacterial activity against the uh, bacterium uh, Bunia genesis. And uh, another, another, uh, uh, another, uh, and another metabolite like the Helvolic acid was the isolated from the Aspergillus fumigatus. This is the, uh, uh, we are selecting the some uh, metabolites from, from the endophytic fungi for the, going to give the good activity against the different kind of the bacteria. In this slide, the uh, uh, so these are the example of the some uh, antifungal metabolites from the endophytic fungi like the bicolorin B and bicolorin D were isolated from the uh, sacrocolloquial and the sacrocolloquial abiclode. Uh, it, it saw the very good antifungal activity against the uh, uh, Virginia uh, superindicence uh, uh, fungus. Another, uh, uh, um, another uh, uh, metabolites are the Cheetoglobicin A and Cheetoglobicin D are isolated from the Cheetomium globicin uh, uh, endophyte fungus. It, it also saw the very good activity against the fungi Ginkgo biloba. In this slide, the some example from of the antiviral uh, metabolites from the endophytic fungi, like bifidine. Uh, it is the very famous uh, uh, antiviral uh, metabolites, which are isolated from the Penicillium species. It shows a very good activity against the dengue virus and dengue virus, Japanese encephalitis virus, and Zika virus. Uh, Betulinic acid was also isolated from the endophytic fungi. There's a Pampopis species, it shows a very good activity against the uh, dengue virus. Uh, uh, another example is the Chimesipuron B, Cytocalicin Jet, Epicoconergion A, and the uh, Pestalothiol C. It shows a very good activity against the uh, HIV-1 and the H1N1. In this slide, the, in some example from the anti-protozoal metabolites from the anti, uh, endophytic fungi, like the aerospirone A, uh, it showed a very good activity against the P. falciferum, as well as the P. P. falciferum, uh, two, two uh, strain of the P. falciferum, it, it was isolated from the Aspergillus niger. Uh, uh, another example is the Fusar peptide A, it was isolated from the Fusarium species, it saw the very good activity at the uh, plasmodium falciparum D6 strain. Now coming on the isolation of the uh, metabolites from the less nuclear pseudothrobium bromine. Before coming on the isolation part, uh, uh, we are focused on the why to select this uh, type, this endophytic fungi for the uh, isolation purpose because of the uh, different uh, different uh, endophytic fungi isolated from the different medicinal plant screen for the gentian oxidase activity. Uh, we can see the pseudo uh, less tripodia pseudothrombromy species having good uh, good activity against the gentian oxidase inhibitor. So uh, later uh, this um, this species stain was identified as the pseudo uh, less tripodia pseudothrombromy. The chloroform extract of the, the culture of the Lesiodiplodia pseudothrombromy was reported very good gentian oxidase immunity, uh, which was uh, better than the uh, standard drug that is the allopurinol. That's why the, uh, we decided to the isolation of that active metabolites, which are responsible for the uh, gentian oxidase inhibitory activity from the chloroform extract of that uh, specific culture. Before going to the uh, isolation part, uh, some brief, uh, uh, brief discussion on that, uh, 
which kind of the active metabolites present in the pseudo uh, Lesiodiplodia species. Uh, these are the structure of the active metabolites present in the Lesiodiplodia species, like the jasmonic acid and uh, methyl jasmonate, less uh, jasmonate A, bryo bryospirulotone, lesiolactone. Less Less uh, lactone A, less you lact uh, less B, less your diplodine, five oxo less your diplodine, cucurbic acid, uh, less your diplo less your diplo dipyron A, less your diplo dipyron B, B, less your diplo dion A, and less your diplo dion A, uh, and uh, L, L sulfine. Uh, this this type of the uh, metabolites uh, reported from the lesiodiplodia species. Now coming on the isolation part, we took the fungal uh, broth uh, of the lesiodiplodia pseudothrobromy, about 15 liter, and uh, filter that the mycelium part uh, by using the filter paper, uh, and uh, extract with the the filtrate was extracted with the chloroform. And the concentrated under the uh, vacuum, uh, we got the 1.26 gram of that uh, extract, which was washed with the petroleum ether. The petroleum ether part is the 264 gram, and the chloroform part is the 847 uh, milligram. And this chloroform part we took for the isolation purpose uh, through the column chromatography by using the 50% uh, chloroform in the hexane to the 100% chloroform. And then the uh, gradient increasing the methanol in the chloroform, we we collect the 34 subfraction of the, the chloroform part. Uh, we, further isolation purpose, we use the fraction number three, nine, and the 22. From three, uh, we took the th uh, fraction number three by repeated column chromatography with the uh, gradient increase of the ethyl state in hexane. Uh, we got that the uh, one compound having the 17, and, uh, and from another fraction, fraction number nine, uh, uh, using the gradient increase of the um, uh, ethyl state from the zero percent to the hundred percent in hexane, uh, we we get the sub fraction uh, uh, six sub fraction from six sub fraction, sub -fraction number two having the 230 milligram. Uh, further uh, column chromatography with the gradient increasing in the ethyl state in hexane, uh, we divided into the uh, five subtraction. Uh, the uh, subtraction number one, we uh, isolated the one compound number 18. Fraction number four, we isolated another compound, comp compound number 19. And the same, using the same process, uh, we isolated compound number 22 by using the uh, Subfraction so, so number 22. Out of this, uh, this four uh, compound, compound number 19 and 20 are the new compound, and the compound number 17 are the previously reported. Compound number 18 are still uh, 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 in the under the characterization. Uh, after characterization, we'll report the this compound for the uh, next. Uh, uh, Next part. Uh, you know, this compound number 19 and the compound number 17 having the same type of the structure but uh, different stereochemistry. We'll we'll go discuss in the next slide. Now coming to the uh, uh, structural illustration of the compound number 19. Uh, as you said that the both compound having the same uh, kind of the NMR, but uh, that the specific rotation are the uh, just opposite. It's it was reported uh, as a specific rotation as uh, 18, but uh, we got the specific rotation of the compound 19 is a uh, plus 12. That's how we, we got conclusion that the having that the three different uh, three different uh, 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 chiral center having the different orientation of that the. Uh, substitution of the this chiral center uh, for the confirmation uh, we took the nmr in this nmr which uh, the first get the 
mass value ESIM as M plus one peak having the M by Z is 145. And the IR spectra showing the uh, 3405 and the 1747, it's what the having the alcohol group, OH group and the uh, carbonyl group. By using that uh, uh, C13 H1 NMR and that the mass, uh, we got the molecular formula C7 H12 O3. So degree of unsaturation of this compound having the two, uh, it is the having the one carbonyl group and the one ring. Uh, in the carbon NMR, we are having that the one carbon peak on the 60 and the two double doublet on the 3.81 and the 3.75. That's why we uh, we hypothesize the having the primary alcohol group and the two kind of that the methyl group uh, having the doublet uh, like methyl on the six and the eight six on the uh, six and the eight having the uh, doublet so we conclude that the having the methyl group just adjacent to the, of the ch group for the uh, after getting the depth nmr we got that the uh, six signal of that uh, uh, on the depth 45 that's why uh, we uh, we conclude that the having that uh, six uh, uh, proton substitute uh, carbon and the one is the uh, tetra substitute carbon that is the carbonyl carbon and the, on the depth 19 having the only three signal that uh, uh, we conclude that the having the three ch group and the deep uh, depth 135 having the one signal in the opposite direction that we conclude the one CH2 group. That means the, uh, we conclude that the uh, five CH, CH2 group, three CH group, and the uh, one carbonyl group, and one CH2 group. Uh, now coming on the uh, Koji spectra of the, the compound 19, it showed that the, uh, Correlation between the, the proton proton on the adjacent carbon, uh, like the proton on the carbon number five, proton on the carbon number five, correlation the proton uh, on the carbon number six, uh, proton on the uh, pro, proton on the seven, so the correlation with the proton of the four, proton on the three, so correlation with the proton uh, number proton eight and the proton four. Similarly, the, um, uh, we got the, the uh, uh, structure of this uh, compound 90, like this one. The further confirmation with the HMBC data, where they saw the um, correlation of the proton with the carbon. Here, you can say the proton on, on the five, so the correlation with the carbon number seven, proton on the seven, so the carbon uh, correlation with the uh, carbon three, carbon four, and the carbon five. Proton on the uh, three position, so the correlation with the carbon number eight, uh, carbon number four, and carbon number seven, as well as the carbon number two. Uh, by using that the Koji HMBC data and the we having the uh, planar structure of the compound like the uh, five member lactone ring having with uh, three substitutes, two are the methyl group and the one is the uh, primary alcohol group but uh, uh, one problem having there there this compound having the three chiral center the, so we need to the uh, decide the what is the uh, orientation of this uh, uh, chiral center so uh, before going to the uh, confirm orientation we are decided to the uh, absolute configuration on the c4 position by using the modified Moser method. If for the substitution of primary alcohol or primary amine or the acid, uh, we can get the absolute configuration of the chiral position by using the modified Moser method. But for the modified Moser method, we first uh, converted the primary alcohol to the uh, acid by using the peridium dichromate. Then the this acid is the react with the uh, an anisotropic uh, compound like uh, S-phenylglycine methyl ester and R-phenylglycine methyl ester. 
by converting the compound number amide amide bond containing compound 22 and 23 and that took uh, proton nmr by analyzing the proton nmr we can see the proton adjacent to the that chiral center having the different uh, chemical shift like the proton on the uh, position number 8 uh, in the uh, uh, s isomer having the 1.33 chemical shift and the uh, uh, in the r isomer 1.20 similarly the proton at the position number 3 having the 3.08 and here the 3.03 .03. similarly on the proton number 6 and 5 uh, in the uh, s isomer having the chemical shift 1.38 and the here in the 1.51 and the on the proton number 5 here in the 4.51 on the r isomer in the 4.56 now we uh, get the delta uh, s minus delta r value here is the 1.33 minus 1.20 that means that it is the positive value uh, positive uh, 0.13 but here is the 1.38 minus 1.51 1, that is the negative value so we make that uh, make that the uh, uh, structure of this uh, compound by using this uh, uh, subtracted value here the in the plane we took the c h c double one o and h c c double one o o m e in the plane and the above the plane in uh, uh, towards the viewer you are putting the having the delta s minus delta r value in the negative and the below the plane we put the uh, positive value uh, in the we can, we can see the uh, figure number a similarly uh, in the figure number model number b we put the uh, uh, the positive value in the right hand side and the negative value in the left hand side so we can get that the orientation like this the uh, clockwise di direction that means the uh, absolute configuration on the position number four is the r but uh, uh, this this position having the uh, cop uh, 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 amide group but our original compound having the primary alcohol group that's why i changed the, to the primary alcohol group that is the ch2h then the uh, um, this was the numbering of the priority of the compound is the one two three that, that means that it is the uh, anti-clockwise direction so our the absolute conversion of the original compound is the s so we concluded the uh, absolute conversion of the uh, carbon number four is the s now we are having the two more chiral center so we can get the configuration of the uh, another chiral center by using the nozic uh, NMR. Here in this noji NMR, we can see the proton at the position number seven. So the correlation with the proton at the A eight and the proton at the six, and the proton on the position number four. So correlation with the proton number three. So we we can get the, the uh, conclude that the final structure of the compound having the all the proton in the same direction. So final structure was the 3s 4s 5r uh, we gave that name of the compound is the uh, less deep lacton similarly coming to the structural illustration of the compound number 20 the carbon nmr of the compound number 20 was the showing the resemble with the previously reported compound cucurbic acid but having the extra methyl group uh, here you can say the uh, molecular mass of this cucurbic acid 222 but we got the, the m by z value 249 that is m plus uh, m plus na so uh, we uh, we thinking that the methyl group either on the substituted part or in the ring so uh, prove that the hypothesis uh, uh, we got uh, we take the uh, few amount of the some amount of the sample and the oxidized to convert it primary alcohol to the uh, ketone group and uh, took the nmr 
here nmr showing the signal at the 17 16 centimeter uh, reverse centimeter reverse so we conclude that this member should be the six six member ring because if this one the five member ring it should be approximately uh, more than 17 60 centimeter reverse uh, to prove that the um, final structure of the compound we took the uh, uh, nmr different kind of nmr uh, 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 similar as the previous compound uh, before going to NMR, we discuss on the mass of the, we got the mass M by Z value 249, having the M plus NA, NA and the IR spectra having the 3385, 1081 and the 1277, that means that having the uh, secondary alcohol and the one carboline compound. The molecular formula of this compound is the C13H22O3. And so degree of unsaturation is the three. That means the one ring, one carbonyl group, and the one, maybe one double bond. This double bond was confirmed by using the uh, C13 and the uh, H1 NMR. In the C13 NMR, uh, the uh, carbon number 10 and 11, so the uh, olefinic in the olefinic region, and uh, it's supported by the H1 NMR having the 5.38 and the 5.48 the, with the multiplate. So we conclude the uh, our is, um, compound having the structure like the one ring, six member ring, uh, one carbonyl group, uh, and the one olefinic uh, uh, olefinic double bond. Uh, in the depth uh, 19, we got the uh, five uh, signal. That's uh, we conclude that the having the five CH bond. In depth 135, we got the six uh, six uh, signal in the negative side. The, the, we got the conclude that the, having the six CH2 group that is a one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, six CH2 group. That means the six CH2 group and the five CH group and the one carbonyl group. And for, for further the confirmation structure, we took the Koji compound here saying the uh, correlation of that proton to the addition proton. Similarly, uh, we concluded the correlation of the all the proton uh, in Koji NMR, the very good correlation of the all the proton with each other. Now, uh, now get the HMBC compound. Here showing that the correlation of the proton with the uh, uh, carbon, addition carbon. Here the proton or the 10 and 11, so the uh, correlation with the uh, carbon with the uh, correlation with the uh, proton on the 11 correlation with the carbon with the 12 proton on the 10 correlation with the carbon with the 9 and the, similarly the proton on the 13 correlation with the carbon number 12 and 11 uh, similarly we, we, uh, by all uh, getting the all the correlation we conclude that the uh, planar structure of the compound having the like this but uh, in this compound, having the three chiral center, one, two, three. So uh, we are getting that the absolute no, uh, confirmation of the all the chiral center by using the ECD spectra. Before getting the ECD spectra, we calculate the absolute energy of that all the stereo, possible stereo isomer of this compound. This compound having the three chiral center, that means the eight possible isomer uh, of this compound. Oh, uh, we calculated the uh, energy of the stereo isomer. Uh, out of eight isomer, two are the stable one, six one the most stable, having the zero energy, and the three are the slightly less stable, having the energy the zero point two nine. The calculated uh, <laughs> uh, electron circular dichromism is the uh, two isomer having the resemble with, with the. Uh, the ECD of uh, on that uh, uh, ECD of the laboratory seat ECD. So um, our compound either this one or the this one. For, do we confirm by the using the NOGI NMR. In the NOGI NMR, the proton at the seven uh, so correlation with the proton at the eight, and the proton at the three so correlation with the proton number uh, eight. 
so we we concluded the all the proton in the uh, same direction so uh, final structure having the 3r 8s and 7r so we gave the this compound less your less diploic acid uh, now all the compound are tested for the genthin oxidase inhibitory activity uh, compound number 17 was so the very good inhibitory activity against the genthin oxidase enzyme and compound number 20 21 also saw the very good activity but compound number 19 was not so good, good activity so we uh, and the none of the any compound having the comparable activity with the standard uh, drug allopurinol but uh, extract of this uh, this, uh, uh, this fungus broth so the better activity than the allopurinol it may be the uh, two or more compound give the synergistic activity uh, against the genthin oxidase inhibitor now we conclude our session uh, we isolated the uh, four compound from that uh, the chloroform extract of the lessio diplodia pseudothrombi out of four the two are the new compound uh, one component is so the very good activity and the oxidized from the compound number 19 was showing that the uh, comparable activity with the allopurinol uh, but none of the compounds so the better than the allopurinol activity because the uh, maybe the synergistic effect of the two or more compound uh, of that uh, uh, extract thank you for this thank you very much thank you Thank you, Dr. Sanjay Kumar, for uh, your excellent talk on endophytic fungus as a source of xanthine oxidase inhibitors. Thank you uh, for sparing your valuable time on ISFCP online platform. I would like to request audience, if you have any query related to the lecture, please write in chat box. We will reply after discussion with experts. Thank ISFCP management and director, sir and uh, organizing co coordinator dr siddharth mehan our it team uh, for uh, organizing isfcp 101 lecture series thank you for being with us at isfcp online platform thank you all